I'm going to be spending the next 24 hours in the woods eating nothing but foraged mushrooms like this chicken of the woods or beefsteak fungus right here. Two weeping widows. We won't be eating them. Not because they're poisonous, just because, no. Oh. And I'm joined by Rob from Storb Unlimited Bushcraft, who's just found a birch polypore. Birch polypore? It's not actually edible, although it is medicinal, microbial, antimicrobial, sorry. So if I cut myself, we could put it on? Yep. Sick. And here we have some false chanterelles, which aren't poisonous, but can be upsetting to eat. And I'm not planning on giving myself diarrhea. You guys have seen enough toilet content. So we're back at the spot where the chicken of the woods was. We've managed to found some beliefs, as you can see here. We got here quite late and this is a location we've never foraged at before so we didn't have the insider knowledge of specific spots where we found things from the past so it's been a bit trickier but tomorrow the real challenge will commence we're going to cook these up for dinner tonight and tomorrow we're going to go head to head and have a competition to see how many different species we can find. This is home for tonight. Sicko, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot that tree was going to move. I didn't really think about the spring in the tree. This is quite comfy, though. Right, we've made some adjustments. And now she's good. So I forgot my sleeping bag, so I'm gonna have a fire here tonight and that's gonna be the campfire. Oh. You gonna be comfy there? I think so, yeah. I'm thinking I might try to elongate the fire so it kind of spreads along the length of your body. The length of my body. Cool, so fire's going. What's on the menu tonight, you ask? Well, we've got chicken of the woods. We have bolites, and that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to be grilling the chicken of the woods on this and we're going to be frying all the bolites up. Yeah. Yeah. All we're right. so charismatic on camera together, mate. And over the fire. Look at that. Looks good, eh, Rob? Mmm. What do you think? Mmm. Vegans should eat this instead of that fake vegan chicken that stuff they sell in supermarkets. It's the real deal. Yeah, bro. That's chicken right there. With a hint of lemon. Mm. Yeah, it's just. It's so good. Mmm. 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 They're amazing. We've had our belites and chicken of the woods. We, we didn't have much time today, but tomorrow we're going to wake up bright and early and we're going to catch as many species as we can. This is how I've slept. Oh, it's nice and toasty now, actually. It was chilly last night, though. <sighs> well, the fire died down a few times last night and I had to restoke it, but it kept me nice and toasty, even a little too toasty at some points. You can see my hammock's a bit wibbly wobbly, as we do. Anyway, boom, we're here, we've got here, we've had a few mushrooms, we've had a sleep, now it's time to get some real mushrooms in. Let's go shrooming. So what's the plan, Rob? Get out of bed, 
go for some mushrooms for breakfast. Yeah, so the plan is head over to some big beaches over there. Um, should be good to get some mycorrhizal Beach. mushrooms. Mario, it's a mushroom time. And our first find of the day is a blackening polypore. Can't even get it off. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. <laughs> cool. Shaggy parasol. And we could use this cramp ball to light our fire later. Red cracking beliefs. Shaggy parasols. And here we have some turkey's tail, medicinal. We're not gonna use that today though. And check this out, a dryad saddle, pheasant back, mushroom. Check those paws out. So that's going in the pot. It's getting quite full now, isn't it? Yeah. Some witchcraft has been going on here. Right, so legend has it that at this beech tree and the beech tree you saw before, two witches were burnt at the stake and their spirits and ashes gave birth to these two massive beech trees, which are pretty much the biggest we've come across. So we've got offerings all over these trees and we've got a sacred boundary. Legend has it, these trees are protected by these spirits. So they're watching over us right now. But where are the mushrooms? Sulfur tufts, penny buns or seps, porcini if you're Italian. And here we have a few chanterelles, small ones and not many, but they'll be going in the pot. Scaly puffball. Well, that was a long walk on an empty stomach, wasn't it, Rob? Certainly was. But we got some mushrooms. The fire's gone out. We have been gone a good four hours. So, plan of action. Get this fire going, get the mushrooms on, eat said mushrooms. We've got a whole range. We've got a diverse platter of mushroom delicatessen. Anyway, let's get the fire on and the mushrooms cooking. So this is our haul. Took us a few hours to get it. We're running pretty low on energy right now. So we're gonna cook this up and smash it. We've got all sorts. We've got seps, we've got larch belites, we've got chanterelles here and down here. We've got shaggy parasols. We've got blackening polypore. And we picked up a few cramp balls as well to take home. Great for lighting fires. We love a little cramp ball. Pretty good haul, eh? We did see a lot more mushrooms, but we decided to leave them where they are. This will do us for brunch and send us on our way to complete our 24 hour challenge. Should we cook them up? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Got our dryad saddle, our seps, our parasol, mushrooms, and some of the others that we foraged this morning. Let's go for... Bit of sep. Mm. And that's our 24 hour mushroom foraging challenge done. If you want to find out more about mushrooms, go subscribe to Rob's channel by clicking the link in the description. Peace.